Hello and welcome to another video from the only YouTube channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it and today uh, I'm planting trees. I already did a video about how to buy trees but I'm planting trees and I'm just going to tell you the way I plant trees. Just leave the tree in the pot, dig your hole the same exact size as the tree and drop it in and you're done. Add water. You may have to take a little bit of dirt, work it in around the outside with your fingers. You're always going to plant in the fall. You don't want to plant in any other time of year, just in the fall. That's when the sap ain't running in the trees. And they can stay in the ground for three months without any nutritional requirements. They'll be fine until December. And hopefully in that amount of time, they'll kind of establish themselves in that spot. Now, this one, you may notice, if you can tell it with that low quality video this hole is much larger than this this here bush this is actually a blueberry bush and the reason I'm doing that is this here is what's called uh -oh, let me see if I can get it off here root bound now, you want, when you pull your tree out or a bush or whatever, you want it all to stick together. But this here, I know you can't see it, but that is just solid roots. Mm -hmm. And that is not going to do well. Now, this is a blueberry, so it probably wouldn't make a difference. But if this is an apple tree or a peach tree or an orange tree, you'd be in some trouble. But what you got to do, best you can, just take your fingers, kind of tear these roots out a little bit. And this is bad for the tree, but we ain't got no choice here because you want these roots to get themselves a little bit of a hole into the soil around them. Otherwise, they're just gonna, you, if this was a regular uh, citrus tree or something, 10 years from now, this tree would still be the same size as it is right now. Being a blueberry, blueberries don't just get a fatter trunk every year. They actually get more and more trunks. Like this tree right here. This, this little stick here, that's the way this was two years ago. Wow. And now it's, Probably a dozen, a dozen trunks in there, and that's what this one will do too. I'm sure it'll be fine just because it is a blueberry. But like I say, and earlier I had made comment that tree is good if you see a little root coming out, but sometimes if you see roots coming out of every hole, you're in trouble. Don't even buy that. Why? Because uh, I have seen trees that were so root bound there wasn't no saving them. That there's a tree I planted for a neighbor over there. I told her when I put that in, there was no way it was going to live. And it didn't. I seen him jerk it out of the ground. It just rotted off, I think. Hmm. Here's a pretty big root. And this is uh, this is gonna definitely hurt the tree doing this, but there ain't no other way to make it live, I don't think. But anyway, break it up the best you can and then just try to put a lot of loose dirt in around it. Now, when you get instructions on how to tr plant trees from anybody else, they'll tell you to do this for every tree. Dig a big hole, and then fill the hole with compost and rich loamy soil. The only time you need that is if the tree is root bound. Hard clay, sand, soil, whatever you're putting that in, no matter how big you make that hole and how much humusy soil you put in there, eventually those roots are gonna run into that hard clay and they're gonna have to deal with it. Might as well deal with it as soon as spring hits. Anyways, if you're trying to plant fruit and nut trees for your survival plan and you only got room for four trees in your yard, you don't want one of them to be root bound. You know, just, you're going to have to have this to live. You don't want to survive? Don't listen to me. 